HubSpot Website Builder, creative free website using HubSpot step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create a website using HubSpot for free. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you're going to go to HubSpot.com and you will land right here. Now, HubSpot is a very famous CRM, but do you know that you can also create a website with HubSpot? So that's what we'll cover today. I'll show you how to create a high quality, a professional and high conversion website with HubSpot. So let's get into it. You will simply sign into your HubSpot.com and it will take you to your dashboard. So this is our main dashboard on HubSpot. And once you get right here, you can see we have uh, contacts at the top. We have conversations, we have marketing, sales and more. In order to access the website option or the website builder, you will have to go to marketing. In marketing, you're going to scroll down a little bit and you'll find website. Now we have website pages and a blog. We can also create landing pages. So what I'll do is I'll create website pages for you. So I'm going to go to the website option here and click on website pages. So this is our website pages and you can see we have all of the different pages that we have already created. Uh, so I have created one before. So that is why it's showing me here. What we will do is we'll click on create at the top here to create a new page. So now I can create a landing page or a website page. So we'll actually go to the website page here. Now landing page is kind of like the same thing and it uses the same builder. This is going to be the website page uh, link here. You can see it has a HubSpot pagebuilder.com. So now we have to give our page a name, any website page that you want to. So I'm actually creating a marketing page. So let's just call it marketing test. This is my page name and click on create. Once you click on create, it takes you to choose a template. Now we have different templates available on HubSpot. You can see all of these templates look amazing for different purposes. And uh, we have different types of themes and fonts, everything. So you can see the theme that we have selected is Freeflex here. We can also click on edit or change the theme. That is the default theme that we have. Now I can check out some of the templates from here. We can get a preview. For instance, this one right here, which is the about page. And we with teams, it will actually look pretty good. So this is the preview. You can see this is free flex. This is the default theme as well. It looks pretty good. I can click on use template or click on back. All right, then we have home and more. So what I want to do is I want to create a home page and I think this one actually looks pretty good. So we can get a preview or click on select. So what I'll do is I'll click on select and it will take uh, me to my builder and I'll be able to edit the page and customize the home page for my website using HubSpot. So this is our builder in HubSpot and you can see we have a lot of different options available. At the side of the screen, you'll be able to find add. In add, we have theme uh, modules where we have different columns that we can add to a sections. Then we have uh, common modules such as rich text, images, headings, forms, image sliders, image grid, buttons. Then we have icons, we can add dividers, videos and more. Then we have content here. So in content, what I will be doing is uh, it'll show me the different columns contents that we have added to the page and different sections that we have. Then we have the theme option. So you can go to the edit theme and you can select any theme. So we have selected this one right here. Uh, and now what I'll do is I'll scroll down to kind of like show you the website that we have right now. This is our main banner image. And what I can do is I can, of course, customize it completely. First, we have this image in the background and then we have the text. So the text is office uh, workspace and we have a center text that I can change for the image. We'll click on replace. This is how you replace images. And now you can upload images from your computer or you can also select image from an image gallery that is available. So we have already uploaded some of the images. So what I'll do is I'll select this one as my background image and this looks pretty good i can go to the styles now and i can change the style for my image that i have added this way we added all of the images then we have alt text so this is kind of like the alt text for the image but we will change it uh, to according to our website once you've added a uh, you know text right here an image you can of course change all of the different things about it we can change the duration if there is animation available that you can do that we have uh, positions and everything so this is the text right here the main text is this is what your hero wants now i'll change it of course and then we also have our tagline here so i'll actually change all of the text that we have here so this is going to be my first text as a heading and now i'll change it of course, the positions and everything, I'll make it bold. 
and it's a paragraph i'm gonna go with the heading one and we can underline it if we want to and this is our text now then i will actually take it to the next and this time we're gonna select the paragraph here and i will add the tagline like this so you can see this is my tagline here and I have made it bold and this is going to be in paragraph form and it's going to be like this. Once you have added the text and everything, what you need to do is you're going to click on the save option right here at the top. And once you click on save, all of the changes will be saved here. So I'm going to click on save and you can see this is what it looks like now. This is our main image and I can of course make the text bold if I want to adjust it a little bit more. Then we have this here, which is this section. If I want to delete it, edit it out, you can see at the top, we get the options again. We have added these sections. We have added the images and everything. This is a simple column here that is giving us the blocks, but I can change it to maybe two columns. So if you want to add something, you just simply drag and drop. It's a simple drag and drop that we have in our website builder. So you can see I have added two columns here. Then I can scroll down to add more. Let's say I want to add a divider. So what I'll do is we'll go back this way. I will add different things. Uh, if I want to add a divider, it can just go to the add option here. We can add images, videos like this. It's a pretty impressive website builder that we got here and you can customize everything. If you want to delete a section, let's say this one right here. I don't want to use this. So what you can do is you can select this one and you can delete it. So I have selected this one. I can scroll down to delete this option or we can delete the section completely. So I'm going to select this one and click on delete because this is not the section I wanted. So now I have my main, uh, you know, banner image. Then I got a column where I added some of the information. I went with the two column. Then I can scroll down and we have meet the guide. And then we again have an image here and some of the text. So here in the add section again, I can add different contents. And once a content is added, uh, when uh, a section is added, a content is added, you will be able to see right here that what you have. So I have a section, I have homepage, um, hero image, then we have section two columns, section one column content. Then we have a section here, then we have section of content image and split. So you can scroll down to check it out. You can see you have this one right here. Then we got the features here. If I want to delete something again, I'm going to actually get rid of it. So once you're customizing a uh, template, keep in mind to kind of like get rid of extra things that you do not want. And uh, it's same is the case with me. There are a lot of things going on with the, you know, template. So I can now remove the modules as well. I don't want any space here. So I'll delete it like this. And now I have a very simple looking page. We also got our map here. So we can, of course, customize it. I'm going to click on edit style, visibility, alignment, and spacing can also be changed and the background too. This is our main footer. I'm going to select the footer option here. And I'll be able to edit the footer, the all of the different uh, links that we have for social media. The information will be changed. And we also have our main menu here at the top that will be changed too. So you can see this is our main, uh, you know, all of the different settings that we can do with the website builder. Once a website is created, make sure to actually click on save um, after every step so that if you even leave the website builder, uh, your website will be saved. You can also run, uh, uh, you know, this website. We have these settings. Click on the settings option. This is where you will get your page title, internal page name, page URL, domain, advanced settings. Then we have optimize option. In Optimize, you will again get all of the different things that need to be done with your page. And then we have Publishing option. In Publishing, we have Publish Now or Schedule for Later. Or we can actually keep an unpublished page on a specific date, uh, you know. So what we can do is we can publish from here. And we can also publish the option right here at the top. Uh, once you click on Publish, your page will be created and published with HubSpot. And it's actually completely free. There's no pricing plan that I bought for HubSpot. I just signed in with my free version and i can use the website builder so this is actually a preview for you guys for the website builder that we're getting with hubspot it has all of the different tools and features you'll be able to edit the headers footers images add columns sections and more create high quality professional website with website builder within hubspot for free i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel